Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to review this very inexpensive video capturing card that can turn your DSLR camera into a very beautiful webcam. If you are new to my channel, my name is Carl. I love to film, review, and unboxing videos of gadgets that I get for entertainment and cooking. If I cook something that tastes good, I'm going to make a vlog of it and some tutorial. If I learn something new in related to health and video production, I'm also going to make a review and a uh, tutorial as well. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button down below. So recently, a lot of people are using Zoom for work and for school. There's a product called CamLink, which can turn your DSLR into a webcam. Now, its retail price is $130, but these days, you can't even find one easily. Now, this one right now is showing you almost more than twice of the original price. So, today we are going to look at this inexpensive alternative to CamLink. Well, let's see what we have here. So I got this capture card um, for about $44 on Amazon, which it's about 10 days ago. And I could see um, sometimes it can go to the price as low as $30. So I've put down a link in the description down below. You can go check it out of the um, full detail. So I have to make a disclaimer. I did not receive any sponsorship for making these videos from anyone from Amazon or from the manufacturer. This is a purely review from a user standpoint. There are actually many similar capture cards for sale on Amazon. I choose this one just because um, it had a little bit more 5 star rating compared to many others. Now this particular one comes with a capture card just like this with a USB interface and an HDMI interface there and a very very short um, 8 inch USB extension cord um, it does support USB 2.0 okay it's not a 3.0 device so it's a little bit slower in the in terms of um, data transfer it comes with a user manual um, and but nothing else now really you don't need this user manual for anything at all pretty much this device is just um, plug in and play now first take a look of my setup so okay look at my camera i have a pretty old samsung mirrorless camera this is an nx30 now samsung had stopped making cameras for about five years now if you have a camera that supports a clean hdmi output you are pretty much good to go now here look at my camera here i have a uh, micro uh, hdmi output and as well as a usb port that can draw power now it is, it is good to uh, have the cam camera that that can use external power because a continuous stream can drain a lot of the power in the process. So here is a screen showing how my camera supports a clean streaming output via the HDMI. You can see I can turn off all the text and everything else on the screen leaving just the camera capture. Now the manufacturer of the capture card recommends a CPU of uh, to be at least an i5-3400 or above or i7 with a you know medium range graphic card and run on 4 gigs of memory. Now again my computer is pretty old um, dating from 2013 actually. Um, you can see my um, CPU here is uh, a little bit less than the recommended value. But I did upgrade the add to an SSD and 8G of RAM, so my RAM is more than the recommended value. Now, after we've looked at all the hardware, let's connect everything to see how it works.
So as you can see here, even with a 6-year-old camera and a 7-year-old computer, this capture card can still work and it works pretty well. Now you can see the differences between how I looked with the computer um, built-in webcam and my Samsung camera. Now, although the video quality is limited at 1080p, it is a lot better, right? Now, if you have a better camera, a lens that with a wider aperture, you can get some really um, good video uh, that only focus on you. So I was using this last week and my friends complimented it looks uh, almost like in a movie set. Now here is a screen capture that I had from last week um, in the actual zoom section. So in conclusion, I think this $30 to $45 video capture card does work. It serves as a good alternative and it is a lot less expensive than the Camlink. It is also compatible with older PC and camera. Now, I don't have a Mac to test if this video capture card will work as well on the Mac machine. So for less than $50, if you want more beautiful videos during Zooms or other conferences, I think it is a good investment to put in. Now, if you learned something new from today's video, please give me a thumbs up, a like, and leave some comment down below. It really makes a difference on my channel. And until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.